Okay. Let's start with what you want, what you want to help with. I want to work on the assertiveness training. I really like the idea of it. Something I find I missed a lot, a lot of fuck ups, 20 years going through that assertiveness would have helped. And what do you know about being assertive? Or what do you know about not being assertive? Either one's fine. Well, I, I would oscillate between being a pushover and telling them to fuck off. And so I haven't been able to negotiate situations with people, especially women. And uh, I thought I need to work on that because I've got a few women I'm dating now. I'm back on the dating scene. I'm in my early 40s. And I'm thinking I never had any skill set. It was either get walked all over or chuck them. And uh, that's, not, that's not a good long-term plan. So Okay. It has to start off on the right foot. If you don't start off on the right foot, you're fucked. Yeah. So you have to be assertive from day one. I think most men make a mistake with this being accommodating. Mm -hmm. Have you read Date Young Women? I've read it. It's been a few years, but I'm going through it again. Okay. But yeah. The, the memory device that the titanium babies give the guys is accommodate sounds like commode. Mm -hmm. You can't adjust your schedule to hers. You can't uh, say, well, okay, you won't have Chinese instead of Mexican. None of that. First couple of weeks, it has to be, you're the man with the plan and it's executed. And that's what women really want. They want you to be in charge and be unperturbable. Uh -huh. No matter what kind of shit that they throw, you go, well, that sounds really bad. And we could talk about that, but it doesn't seem like a good time right now. I'll call you tomorrow and leave. Don't yeah. sit down and listen to all the fucking harangues about whatever the fuck it is. That's the way you assert yourself. It's not a question of uh, saying, look, cunt, I'm in charge. It doesn't work. That doesn't work. What works is consistency, boundaries that are established early, not showing up on time is unacceptable. We, I let them get away with it once and I explain, I don't wait for anybody for more than 10 minutes. And if you're late again, I won't be here. Yeah. And then you have to leave when she doesn't show up the second time. And let her chase you and call you. But if you don't do that in, in the beginning, it becomes almost impossible to assert yourself later on. I learned this to argue, okay? I thought I could compromise on everything except the big things. But no, you have to be in charge all the way. That's the number one. The skills you use are all in the book. The easiest one is flogging. You disagree with them. You're right. You don't offer any, any excuses. You say you're right. The car is dirty and should be cleaned. Or whatever the fuck it is. That's flogging. Broken record is... I agree. I did say I was going to be here at 8.30 and things came up. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Blah, 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 blah. I know. I should have been here at 8.30. You're right. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Same thing over and over again. They'll give up usually after three or four times. So you don't have to fucking settle it. You just be persistent. Persistence yeah. and flogging are the two main things. Uh, the other two... I would I prefer showing you in a Zoom meeting. Now you can join the Zoom meeting today if you want to. It's at uh, four o'clock my time. And we go for 40 minutes. And uh, the way I've run it is uh, anybody who wants to work has to say, I want to work on this or that. But there's the usual beginning bumbling and fucking around at the beginning, but we get going and then we try to not interrupt each other while we're talking, but if you want to look, if you want, if you say something like, uh, I'd like to talk about assertiveness, the fogging and the uh, persistence, I understand, but I'm not too sure about this uh, negative inquiry and negative assertion. Could you explain that or something? And then I'll go off on that, and then I'll have two of the guys role play with you. Uh, there'll be one will be the girl, and you can be the guy, and see, you can get, you can get, uh, Testing under combat conditions. Okay. The service is only nothing more than being real and using phrases that don't get the other person to put their defenses up or get angry, especially women. 
You want to say things that, in a way that they can hear it and accept it. Uh, the other thing that would help with assertiveness is a book called How to Be Your Own Best Friend, 78 pages. And uh, I've never recommended audiobooks before, but I think this is probably a good one. You can also get the uh, Kindle and read it very quickly, 78 pages, blast right through it. But if you put it on in your car on an MP3 or on a your uh, thumb drive or however you listen in your car, it's reinforcing assertiveness just by saying to you that you count, you're important, be your own best friend, take care of yourself, which is what assertiveness is. I count, I'm first. And the way I teach it in workshops is if you're on the airplane with your kid, your infant right here, and the oxygen mask drops down, put it on first. We don't want you passing out, trying to get the mask on the baby. You've got yeah. to take care of you first, then you can help other people. And with women, you've got to take care of you first and then take care of her, for her to respect you. You yeah. have to like yourself. You have to not take shit from people. You have to be kind to everybody when she's around, except people that deserve to be reprimanded, but try to do it as diplomatically as possible. Women do not like yelling, <laughs> fist fighting, uh, swearing, arguing in a restaurant. They don't want any of that stuff. Yeah. So if the waiter's being real snot, you can say, you know, I'm really not enjoying this meal. Let's go somewhere else here and leave. Don't get into it with the top sector. That's my way of asserting myself, just leaving. One of the rules we try to get guys to remember is don't stay where you're not wanted. Leave. <laughs> no, I when I, when I when I first got, you know, single or unattached again, I started looking at and ways to you know talk to women and I got into the pickup community or whatever oh, and uh, sorry. it's useless it's completely useless most of these guys unfortunately are just so shy they couldn't talk to women anyway yeah. so it doesn't matter if they have a skill set or not the the clientele are just terrified to even speak to someone so I don't know how you're going to help them with that until they get that sorted out well I could I could help them but they don't want to come to me because I have a bad reputation among the pickup artists because I'm telling them <laughs> a little bit of truth. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. it's uh, the guys who have come after going to pickup artists just love everything I do, and uh, it, they're stunned that it's as simple as it is. But it isn't really. I would say it's more like negotiating. I would say life is just one big long negotiation with everybody. Yeah. So you're trying to negotiate to get her on her back, and she's trying to pretend she doesn't want to get on her back. So you have to do it in a way that's acceptable to her. That's all you're doing. You're not really fooling them. You're just presenting what you want in a way that she agrees with you. You have to be manly. You have to be dressed right, uh, polite, kind, gentle, all that stuff and then stand up for yourself all at the same time, all the time. Have you seen Gone with the Wind by any chance? I've, got, I've read TRA and you mentioned that book. Uh, the, I've watched it a get while ago, movie, yeah. Get the movie and watch Captain Red Butler in every interaction he has in the whole fucking movie and you will see <laughs> the man with the right attitude. He's kind when he needs to be kind. He's forceful when he needs to be forceful. He kills people when he needs to kill them. Yeah. And he walks away from fights and he wants to walk away from fights. Yeah. That's the ideal role model. The other guy I tell you that emulated Steve McQueen in uh, the Thomas Crown Affair. Thomas Crown Affair. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll see men with the right attitude. You mentioned uh, Clint Eastwood in Bridges of Madison County as well. Oh. Was that one? Yes, yes, yes. I'm dating a few women now, and some of your basic stuff has, has helped, and I'm but they, they don't know about each other. And one day I'm gonna to have to do some assertiveness with them. You know, I, I never promised any exclusivity or anything, but eventually they're gonna find out. And uh, okay. yeah. So you wanna know how to handle that? I'll tell you exactly. That. Okay, right now I can tell you that. That's very common. Well, have you seen the video? Are you dating anyone else? I just watched that one. Okay. Uh, yeah. That, that's what you're gonna run into. Sooner or later, they're all gonna ask. That. And the answer is yes, if you are, and no, if you're not. And 
yes, shut up. Yeah. And she says, uh, well, well, what about me? And you say, well, I enjoy what we have. And I'd like it to continue. Well, uh, 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 do, do you use protection? Of course. Three women I'm dating now. I took the advice of dating down. I've got a 44-year-old. She's attractive, fun. I got a girl in her mid-30s, attractive, fun. And I'm going to meet another woman I've been dating, uh, haven't been intimate with yet. And she's in her late 20s. So a little bit of that confidence, it helps a lot. So the warning is you go down the age ladder because they're all different. Yeah. And uh, you just, you learn it by osmosis. Maybe sometimes you have a realization when, when you're in it, but usually it's just, they kind of get you so you understand how to, how to deal with them. They don't like the older ones. You can be crude about some things, but they're 30 ish. You got to be politically correct about some things. And if they're 20 ish, I don't know if anybody gives a fuck about PC at 20 years old. <laughs> yeah. You'll learn by making mistakes. You won't learn any other way. Yeah. Like you fuck up with this Asian girl in the hotel. So you know better to do that next time. You know how, yeah. how, I don't know how it got started, but it didn't end well. So. Yeah, it's just a regular argument that got, you know, the challenge all the way up. And then why don't you get out when I should have just broken record and just let it go. And I, you know, usually you go out the door and say, I'll be back when I cool down. Just fucking leave. Yeah. Take the fucking room key with you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Do you have a Facebook of your own? Yeah. Okay. And all you have to do is get on Facebook. And then go to that page that says Facebook, whatever it is.